Well, hello, hello. Happy Monday to you. How are things? Let me know in the comments below as you arrive, whether you're live or replay, how are things going for you? And the next question I want you to ponder, ponder this, if you will. When was the last time you took a really deep breath? Besides right now. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. I'm going to just take this and grab it and put it over into my free Facebook community, which is a global gathering of amazing people called the Energized and Empowered Entrepreneur Community. You're welcome to join that if you feel aligned with that. So as we do that, I would love to know from you, do you breathe with awareness? I bet you were like, obviously, Megan, I'm breathing right now. But do you breathe on purpose? I often think to myself, thank goodness the breathing thing happens without us having to pay attention because I'm willing to bet that a lot of people would forget to do it. <laughs> and I know for me, when I started to do breath work and to be really intentional about being aware of my breath, which is the essence of yoga practice, but of course inside yoga and inside the Awakened Warrior Method, that is the method that I share, it is foundational and it literally is foundational to life, right? It's absolutely foundational to life. And when you become aware of your breath, it is so powerful. So starting that off, because what we're going to do today for today's Mondays with Megan, pardon me, note to self, don't drink carbonated beverages before you go live, <laughs> um, is a breathing practice because I'm willing to bet that maybe it's been a minute. And regardless if you've been doing intentional breathing all day long, it's one of those things that when you do it consistently, oh my goodness, it is so incredibly powerful. So what I'm gonna take you through is a breathwork practice that's part of the Awakened Warrior Framework, part of the pillar that's called Experience It Now. Experience It Now are tools for you to get grounded. Hi Lorraine, welcome, so glad that you're here. So inside the framework, Experience It Now is a whole set of tools for you to come back to a place of presence, to feel grounded, to feel centered, to activate that higher guidance, the wise warrior within, so that you can show up every day as the purposeful powerhouse version of you, the you that lives on purpose, thinks on purpose, breathes on purpose, that is the opposite to the sometimes what happens worn out version of ourself that is in that, and tell me if you know about this, in that, oh, I gotta get going, I have so many things to do, I'm about to do a launch, I should probably write an email, I should do this, that frantic, frazzled energy. Let me know if you relate to that. Have you ever been there? I'll just put my hand up and probably keep it up for the next couple seconds here. In that sort of frantic and frazzled go, go, go energy. And that is the collection in our head the saboteurs, or in yoga, we call it the ego or the mind that is focusing on pushing you, pushing you to get it done. You gotta do it now. If you, if you don't do it now, you're nothing, you know, and that like smack talking. You've heard me call it the city committee, but let's get real. It's called the saboteurs. It's called the ego mind. It's the stuff that's keeping us in that frantic, frazzled, worn out woman state, person, man, whatever you identify with, but in that worn out hustle mode. And I don't know about you, but I am <laughs> not about the hustle. I'm about the ease and flow. Give me an ease and flow if you're about the ease and flow in the comments. So Lorraine says, I'm a lot more aware of it as I go into launching. Yes, good, I love that, lots of space. And that's beautiful. And that's really what the breath is all about, right? Teaching us to occupy that space, to really tap into that space and guidance. Because science break for a moment. Who likes science? Does anybody want a little science break? <laughs> Do you want to know what's actually happening in your brain? Um, so I'll let you, oh man, I should bring flat water next time. No fizzy water, Megan. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was the judgy voice of my judge right there. <laughs> so what's happening when you are under stress is not only do you begin to take short and shallow breaths, which triggers more stress, right? So that we have more tension in the body. We have less energy flow. We have less oxygen to the brain. 
it also, when we are in that hustle, hustle, got to push, got to make it happen, do it now sort of mode in the mind of the saboteur, we are activating the amygdala, which is the part of the brain where we experience fight or flight. And when you're in that part of your brain, welcome everybody, we are in science mode. We're going to take a breathing break in a second. But when you are in stress, when you're in fight, flight, freeze, fawn, whatever mode you respond to stress in, you're in the amygdala and that shuts down the higher functions of your brain. Because when you're under stress, your brain's only focus is let's get out of here. We got to stay alive because this is hardwired billions of years ago and we haven't changed much, although you can change your brain, but that's a whole other conversation. So when you're under stress, the parts of your brain that are the creative, the inspired, the tapped in, the connected to all that is part of you that opens up to creativity and potential, that part of the brain goes, Shoop. we are not needed right now. We will shut down because the part of your brain that's keeping you alive is very, very active. So when you're in that saboteur, self-sabotage mode, got to go, got to hustle, got to in that worn out woman mode, then you're not tapped into the true wise warrior. You're not trapped, tapped into the prefrontal cortex part of your brain. That's where you get all your good ideas from. That's where you get that inspiration. That's where you get those ideas and that feeling of like, woo, goosebumps, chicken skin, because that is you connected to the higher source guidance. Whenever, you know, your soul, your higher self, your higher mind, the wise warrior within. So that's really important because when you're under stress and you're taking short, shallow breaths, you're in the panic mode in the brain. Whereas in the ease and flow brain, which is where you are in your powerful, powerful purposeful, on point in flow self that's the part of you that goes into that open expansive creative possibility so which brain would you like to live in do you want to live in the saboteur stress brain or do you want to live in the higher wise warrior sage brain so put saboteurs or sage let me know in the comments saboteurs or state or sage which one is your go-to and admittedly we all go back and forth but the breath is the bridge between them. There's a lot of other bridges, but your breath, yay, sage, yes. Let's, let's have all the sages in the comments. And so the breath is a powerful tool for you to bring yourself back into a place of presence. And within a few short, deep breaths, we begin to, there's measurable differences in your body. Your cortisol level comes down. So that's one of your main stress hormones. Your cortisol level comes down with continued breath work practice your inflammation levels come down, your tension levels drop. So it's very, very powerful, right? And so within three deep breaths, so that's really not that long. It's about 20 seconds, right? And we know that stress is associated not only with feeling like cranky and frantic and frazzled and not getting everything done the way you want to do, but it's also associated with a whole lot of other stuff that is not good, not good. Every major chronic disease is, has stress as a risk factor. I could probably just stop talking there and that might be enough to convince you to take deep breaths with me. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Sometimes it's a harder sell, <laughs> but not for you because I know, you know, I know you get it because you want to be in sage. I love it. I love it. So breathing is so powerful, right? So we just talked a little bit about the physiology and the science and also from the energetic perspective, when you are grounded, when you are in a state of presence and balance, then it helps you to be able to take the next step forward from a place of aligned, intentional awareness, right? Not in the, holy shit, I have so much to do. I'm never going to get it done sort of vibe. Everything is energy. We all know that, right? But from the purposeful powerhouse, version of yourself, right? That lives on purpose, thinks on purpose, moves on purpose, breathes on purpose, and is bringing your purpose to life. That's what the purple, purposeful powerhouse is all about. So put powerhouse in the comments if you're like, yes, that is the me that I want to show up in my launch as, or in your email content, or in your sessions, or your sales calls, or your life, or whatever. Yes, feel so much more purposeful for sure. Yay, beautiful. I love that. Thank you for being here and for commenting along. I appreciate that. So, what we're going to do is take a breathing break now and I'm going to have you close your eyes because I'm going on the assumption, tell me if I'm wrong, that you should be able to safely close your eyes because if you're listening to this while you're driving, we need to talk. 
none of that. <laughs> so only if it's close for you to, safe for you to do so, I'm gonna have you close your eyes, okay? I'm gonna have you close your eyes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two different breathing practices. And the first one is called Sama Vriti. So Sama is the root word for same. Vriti is fluctuation. So basically it means even breath. And when we bring your breath to that even rhythm, we find a little bit more balance, right? So when we do the breath work, because in yoga, in yoga teachings, and in many different cultures around the planet, including here in the beautiful Maui, and you know many different disciplines, we know that the breath carries with it a powerful life force energy. So in yoga, we call it prana. So the breath work is pranayama. So we're controlling the flow of the breath so that you can bring that beautiful life force energy throughout your entire being. And we wanna have that be very balanced for this breath because it's helpful for your hormonal balance. It helps you to bring to a state of calm, said to balance the two hemispheres of your brain, the masculine feminine sides of your being. Oh, so many things, oh, just by breathing. Who knew? Powerful. <laughs> Who knew the yogis? So wise, so ancient, right? And now we get to use these powerful practices in our busy modern lives. So thank you for taking a time out and taking a little breathing break with me. So here we go. First thing we're going to do is an even breath. And I'm going to have you go four counts in and four counts out. And just as a light refresher, when we are breathing, we start from the bottom up, much like you'd fill up this bottle of water. You're going to breathe into your belly and you're going to keep filling all the way up. And then when you breathe out, you empty from the top down. Okay, so let's do that by placing one hand on your tummy, one hand on your heart. And then you're going to roll your shoulders back. And please remember, only if it's safe for you to do so, please go ahead and close your eyes. So we're going to breathe through your nose if you can. And let's breathe all your air out. <sighs> Ready? Breathing in for four counts. For one, two, three, four. Breathing out for four, three, two, one. Three more. Breathe in for one two, three, four, breathe out, four, three, two, one. Two more on your own, count them in your head. So that's the first part of the breath. And what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a hold. So we're going to still inhale for four. So you're going to breathe in for four. And then you're going to hold your breath for four counts. And then you're going to breathe out for four. And then you're going to hold empty for four counts. Okay, so it's called box breathing. That's why I'm doing my little, I don't know, diagram whatever I'm doing here with my arms. So we're going to breathe in for four, hold for four, breathe out for four, and then hold empty for four. So if you find that retaining your breath causes you to feel any sort of way that isn't just calm and centered, i.e. if it makes you feel anxious or if it just feels not right to you, just go back to that first even breath, okay? And so if you want to try the retention or the holding of your breath, I like to give one little last analogy before we do it. So you can imagine that when you are holding your breath, you're creating a very soft container. Okay, so you're creating a very soft container to hold the breath in. And on the inside of that little container, it's like when you were little. Tell me if you did this in the comments. Maybe you went out and you caught butterflies or you caught dragonflies and you're really excited and you're going to take it home to show somebody. Okay, so when you're holding the breath, I want you to imagine that you're holding this very precious, beautiful thing very safely and gently. There's the difference between that holding of the container and holding the breath and really holding it. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's quite the difference. And so I want you to not rip it. I want you to really just Ah, yes, delicate, very delicate, 
right? So it's almost that you're holding the container. This is next level. It's almost like you're holding the container, but while you're holding the container, you can feel yourself still expanding. Okay, so let's just, if that's like, what? <laughs> just hold yourself gently. Create the container very soft. Imagine that the breath is like the butterfly that you're bringing home, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. Um, <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go back at it. We're gonna exhale. <sighs> you get it. You're smart, thank you. Appreciate that. Okay, so breathe all the way out. <sighs> Let's just do one round of the four in, four out before we introduce the holds, okay? So we get back to it. Ready? Breathe out. And now inhale deeply. One, two, three, four. Pause at the top. And exhale slowly for four counts. Four, three, two, one. We're going to introduce the hold. Ready? So breathe in for one, two, three, Four, and now hold your breath gently for four, three, two, one. Now breathe out for four, slow and steady. Four, three, two, one. Stay really soft, hold empty. Four, three, two, one. Inhale. Pause, hold. Exhale. Hold your breath softly. And now inhale for four. Hold your breath for four, three, stay soft and relax, two, one, now breathe out for four, three, two, one. Get grounded, hold empty, four, three, two, one. Another round, inhale for four, three, two, one. Hold, four, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. One, hold empty, four, three, two, one. Do one more round on your own. Take a few normal breaths when you're all done. And then when you're all done with that, put a four in the comments to let me know that you're finished. And then after you put a four, let me know how you're feeling. So needed, oh yay, good, four, beautiful. So if you had to pick one way to describe how you're feeling right now, what would that be? So drop, drop it in the comments below. What would that be, the way that you're feeling right now? I would say if I had to pick one word, I feel very settled. I feel very, yes, grounded, anchored, balanced. Yay, I love it. Oh, beautiful. So breath work practice, so, so powerful, right? Because it's really so, it's something that happens all day long, thankfully, without us having to think about it. But it's such a powerful tool for centering. To go from feeling that frantic, frazzled, worn out, ga 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 energy to very grounded, centered, balanced, tapping into the wise warrior within, tapping into the higher mind, literally, truly, literally <laughs> activating the higher centers of your brain. So not only is there an ancient practice thousands of years old 
there's also a lot of science that overlaps. <laughs> and if you don't know, now you know. I love where spirituality and science dance together and play together because they are all, they are so, so complementary. So thank you for being here. And for those of you that that was your first breathing session, breathwork session, I'd love to know how that went for you. Definitely let us know in the comments how you're feeling and just know that there are so so many powerful tools available to you that when you learn how to implement them into your daily life to take a power pause like we just did here you're so welcome thank you to take a power pause like we just did here to center yourself to get settled to get grounded so that you are not only feeling refreshed feeling energized you're literally <sighs> very intentionally letting go of that energy, letting go of the stress that maybe has been kind of slowing you down. It may try to tell you that it's speeding you up and that it's absolutely necessary. And to a degree, a certain level of that energy to get us going is helpful. But long term at a high level, which most people unfortunately are, you know, kind of just tolerating, it is, it's very taxing on your body. It's exhausting on your nervous system and is probably it's definitely leading to that sort of sense of I have no, I never can get it done. I can't stop. What do you mean? I can't take a break. That sort of energy. Whereas when you have the tools and you have say an empowering morning routine, you have the tools to weave this into your day. You literally take a time out for yourself to refresh, to recharge, to rejuvenate yourself. You come back like right now, come back with that sense of vibrancy, of presence, of readiness, of excitement, of joyfulness that is your true essence, right? The purposeful powerhouse version of you, that's who you get to show up as when you take power pauses like this, when you take breaks for yourself. So if you are well overdue for a break like that, I have something in to invite you to. It's happening on Saturday, October 1st. I'm leading my first virtual retreat. Yay! I'm so excited. So it's starting at 10 a.m. Pacific, which is 1 p.m. Eastern, and we will be having yoga, breath work, meditation, visualization, learning who the captain of your saboteur committee is so that you can take the power back from your brain, activate your higher wise warrior self, and live from that purposeful, intentional place. So it's a virtual retreat. So you can join from anywhere in the world, anywhere that you have Wi-Fi, and you will have the tools that you need to set up your sacred space to come together with a global community of people that are intentionally caring so much about how they feel that they make it a top priority. So they are taking the time out for themselves, like you'll be doing because you deserve it. I know you do. And you don't have to do anything to deserve it. The fact that you are here means that you have a cup that needs to get filled up <laughs> and I would love to have you join us. So the registration link will be in the comments below and the early bird price is actually available until Monday, September 26th. So that's next Monday. And so if you want to grab your spots at the early bird price, go ahead and do that because the price will be going up and the spots are filling up already. So join us. It's time for a timeout. Remember when you were a little kid and timeouts were like a punishment? Now, as an adult, timeouts are the way to go. <laughs> because let's be real, the to-do list, it's never going to end. We might as well take a time out and enjoy life in the meantime, right? <laughs> I think. Anyways, yes. Love it. All right, so I'm going to drop the links for you to register and grab your spot there in the comments below. If you have any questions, please let me know. And if you have anyone that you would like to have join us for that, please feel free to share the link with them. I would so appreciate your help with that. And have a beautiful rest of your day. And thanks for taking a breathing break with me. You are so welcome, Lorraine. It was lovely to have you here. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you a lot and appreciate all of you other amazing beings that are either here on my page or in the Facebook community. Super grateful for each and every one of you. And until next time, sit tall, breathe deep, and take good care. All right. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Hope to see you next week for Mondays with Megan at the same time. Bye.